sambal in a different bowl oh shit my light just dead so it doesn't mean that you have to stop it what you can do oh shit now my camera is dying yogurt mixed banana with fresh milk hey guys welcome back to my channel i did something really stupid and i had to re-record this whole video again so let's do this yeah okay so i have been diagnosed with ibd uh it's a uh, what is it called okay it's called inflammatory bowel disease yeah it's nothing to laugh about well it's there are two diseases under this IBD uh, one is called ulcerative colitis and the second one is the Crohn disease uh, the symptoms for the both patients are very similar but uh, the Crohn one is a little bit uh, what they call a severe one so anyway we are not here to talk about the disease that I have I'm here to give you guys some tips and guide how to survive in Malaysia without spicy and oily food so when it comes to Malaysian food, most of our foods are spicy and uh, oily food. So how do I survive? Here are the few tips. First, whenever you make order of your food, always make sure to say these two important things that you have, you have to tell the waiter every time when they take your order. Tana pedas no spicy tana berminya no oily so i have been diagnosed with this ibd for 10 months now so now if i go out with my friends they already know what would i have my uh what is my add-on into that menu i mean no spicy and then no oily the second one whenever you choose a restaurant make sure they allow you to customize your food like they allow you to select your food without spicy or without oily because some restaurants they prefer to not allow you to customize your food i don't know why they do that so before you enter a restaurant let them know that your orders are going to be without spicy and oily if they say yes sure then go on and yes I know that you cannot take nasi lemak without the sambal so my tips is whenever you order nasi lemak make sure you say this magic word the magic word is sambal asin so which is you want the sambal in a different bowl so they won't mix into that nasi lemak. and another one more good thing on this because most of the time these restaurants are very busy so what they do is they will they will prepare these nasi lemak uh, packages first and so whenever anyone asks for the food and then they will just give you from that from the packages that they already have prepared so when you when 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 you order like this you wanted the sambal in a different bowl Okay, when you order like this like i mean you want the sambal in a different bowl uh so what they will do that they, they have to pack again so which means you are going to get the fresh rice from the cooker see it's one of the advantage i think all right we're back i hope better is enough to finish this video all right so now to the part where i'm gonna tell you guys how do i make my breakfast i got this free uh i got this few th uh these three my favorite things all right the first one is the banana bread with fresh milk and then the second one is the banana mixed with yogurt and fresh milk and then the third one is the lemon ginger uh with cheese bread all right how do you prepare the banana bread and fresh milk it easy take one banana cut it to do half two and then i would put it in a bread 
and a fresh milk. Okay, the second one, yogurt banana mixed with fresh milk. Huh? No, yogurt banana, yogurt mixed banana with fresh milk. Anyway, when you select a yogurt, go for the one that comes with berries. Right? Never go for the one with vanilla because banana and vanilla yogurt they never go down easy without a fight okay so go for the yogurt with berries okay how to prepare it is slice those bananas into small pieces and then put the yogurt in a cup and then the banana that you slice put it into the cup and just mix a little bit and then start to eat it with fresh milk I mean if you want if you don't then that's okay the last one lemon ginger with roasted bread with cheese okay this one is a little bit a long work uh, you need to put some effort on it okay what you need is a lemon and a ginger and a cheese or sandwich cheese okay a day before i mean a night before let's say you want this tomorrow morning so tonight what you have to do cut the the lemon into pieces in small slices and then the ginger into small pieces and you need a bowl with a uh, warm water and then squeeze that lemon into that bowl and uh, you have to punch that ginger a little bit and then put it inside that warm water i mean to that bottle and leave it inside the fridge for the overnight so on the next day what you have to do i always go for the cheese the one that made from a laughing cow the sandwich uh the sandwich cheese i guess yeah that one uh what i do is i put some butter on the bread and then i roast it and then i put the cheese and then another bread on it in a few seconds the cheese will start to melt and i will took out the the mixture that i did last night if you have sinus and then what you should do is you have to reheat i mean heat the mixture in a microwave or something or or you can drink it with the cheese bread and ginger lemon Okay, that is the three thing that I wanted to share with you guys if you guys want more go and check out on my or follow my Instagram I always post those foods and ingredients or how to do it on my Instagram and I think that's it for this week so if you are new don't forget to subscribe like and comment and don't forget to click that uh, bell button down there so because I don't have um, exact date where will I post my videos so when you click that bell button you will be notified every time when I post a new video so I think that's it uh, until the next video I'll see you guys bye bye